Dr. Lapistow, what is yeast? Are candida and yeast the same thing? Yeast is a family uh, microorganism uh, separate from bacteria and mm -hmm. viruses that has beneficial and harmful types in the human body. And so candida is one of those that's a natural uh, occupant of the digestive tract, mm -hmm. but it has the ability to become pathogenic when it overgrows. So there is beneficial yeast, so people shouldn't be afraid to have yeast. That's right. Certain yeasts, now candida in a proper population is, is a natural beneficial part of the digestive tract. There's also nutritional yeast, brewer's yeast that mm -hmm. are supplemental, red yeast rice, that's a common one for high cholesterol that you see out there. Okay. And also one called Saccharomyces boulardii, which does amazing things to heal the digestive tract. So candida is natural. It's a natural yeast? Is that what you're saying? It's just when it becomes an overgrowth? It's naturally occurring in the human digestive tract, yes. It's just that when it becomes an overgrowth? Then it, become a, it becomes a problem, yes. Because in an overgrowth situation, it produces about 30 to, 32 known toxins to the human body. Wow. Yes. And so we actually have to be careful of that when we're eliminating an overpopulation or we'll get what's called a die-off reaction, the release of too many of those chemicals from the yeast all at once. So then you would be having a reaction and you wouldn't feel very well, correct? Exactly, yes. So it's a slow and steady process of rebalancing. Much slower then. You don't want to go too fast. Right. And the, that's a risk with the pharmaceutical agents because they're oh. such a sledgehammer effect. Yes, they kill the yeast off, but oftentimes in such a vast amount, people don't feel very good. So they feel like they're going through a healing crisis, correct? Exactly, yes. And we want to do that at a pace the body can maintain. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Lepistow.